everybody from the RV, the snowmobile. Um, I just figured I'd do a little unedited uh, vlog for you guys because for one, our RV is like a complete disaster. We've been coming in here and if you're um, new, we are moving into our RV full time from like our massive house. We're going tiny and we're gonna be traveling full time and living in this RV. We're installing a bidet in the bathroom, um, which is not an easy thing to do because there has to be an outlet for you to plug it in because it's got like a heated seat and it like sprays you clean and it's got a little dryer on it and all these things. So Travis actually has to install electrical in there. And then we're also going to be installing some more electrical outlets over here by the, everything's very messy as you can see, by the kitchen because we've been in here and like trying to figure out where everything's going to go and make sure we have space for things like our Instant Pot, our Vitamix, our food processor, you know, like we need to make sure things fit. Um, and then the other thing is the TV in the master was broken. And so we had to find a special TV that fit this space because it's like a cutout. Um, and we wanted a DVD player uh, for when, because it's a smart TV, but we want a DVD player for when we're like boondocking or places we don't have power or service. So that, did you just go potty? I went poop. Oh, you went poop. Good job, honey. I went poop and potty. Oh, you went poop and potty. Good job, honey. Um, so we wanted a DVD player. We started collecting some DVDs from like the thrift store for us and for the kids um, so that we can be able to watch DVDs like when we have no service, you know? Um, and so I'm starting like putting little things together like, you know, our books and the kids like homeschool stuff, um, their toys on the bottom shelf so they can get to them. And then across is their little bunk beds and another bunk bed. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of like doing a lot of things here and there in the RV to prep and get ready for living in it full time. So I wanted to Mommy, kind of show you guys. I'm so high. You are so high, honey. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing. And I thought I would just kind of take you around and show you what it looks like now so that you can see, um, you know, the difference it'll be like after we move into it. But we are getting all the sheets off to just like clean everything. And um, another big thing is like we're trying to get rid of the things that are really heavy in here because when you're driving, especially with gas prices right now, it's like insane. And so hold on, let me fix this. I even got like this special little, it's not special, but it's like a little tripod. Um, I had to get like, it's crazy. Like you wouldn't think like all the things that you have to like kind of change for when you go tiny, but like for filming, which is my job, it's so dark right here, but like I have like so much filming equipment that I'm used to having and I have like a mic stand and I have big softbox lights and a ring light and a big monitor and like just all this like big equipment that would never fit in the RV and I remember when we first traveled in the RV for like a month I brought some lighting stuff and it just was not anywhere near the quality I wanted it to be and so I had to buy a bunch of different lights to decide like what was going to work in the RV and what I really liked and I'm very picky and kind of a perfectionist when it comes to like my sit down videos, especially my Patreon videos. I want them to be like top, top quality. So I have spent no joke like hours and like days and days and days going through different light, like lighting equipment and returning it and then buying new ones to figure out like the perfect lighting. And you guys, I finally found the perfect lights and they're so tiny and flat. They're amazing. They're like so much better than the ones I had before. So I'm happy I found that. Um, and then, you know, just for instance, like this tripod, let me find a mirror so I can show you how little this is. Um, well, actually, hold on. Let me just take you off and then I'll show you. Okay, so this is a little tripod that I got. This thing's awesome, you guys. Um, so you can... Yummy chocolate. Yeah, that is yummy chocolate, huh? It's so tasty and yummy. <laughs> it is. I'm from it. Mm-hmm. I don't... I'll link this down below. I don't take any... Mom, my tummy hurts. Yeah, don't eat too much. It'll make your tummy hurt. So as you can see, this goes like totally flat and it's just perfect for being in a small space because um, you can use it as like a monopod, you know, just like holding it, 
holding it regular. I'm getting some work over here done. My little handyman literally can build or fix anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry about that, my camera died. <laughs> Look what a mess it is in here. So this is how tiny it is. You can see it's like so small, but it works so well because you can also use it for your phone. So if I wanna do like, hold on. If you wanna use it for like TikTok videos or like going live or whatever, it's kind of perfect for that. Um, and yeah, it's just a really great tripod. So this is just kind of an example of one of the things I got for being in a small space because I have had my bigger tripod in here and it just takes up so much room and it's just like not ideal, you know? So this is really cool. Um, let's see, what else have I done? Oh my gosh, no, you're making such a big mess. Um, I'm trying to think of like, honey, you're making such, no, uh, 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 hold on, I gotta <laughs> clean up. I think one of the hardest things for me is going to be downsizing my clothes and my shoe well my shoes no not so much I don't really have that many shoes and that I don't really care about but like this so far is the closet and that's just my dresses and that's not even all of them and I still need to put like all my other clothes <laughs> and Travis like said that he would take drawers and I could have the closet because of my ADHD I have this thing called object permanence where like uh, or I don't have it. I don't know. I can't really remember what my psychiatrist said, but basically uh, you forget when you put something in a drawer, you kind of forget that you have it. So I really need to be able to see like in a closet, my clothes. Cause if it's in a drawer, I forget like it's there. Um, maybe it won't be as bad that I'm like, have like only three pairs of shorts. I'll kind of remember, you know, but um, yeah, I really have to pare down my clothes a lot. So that's going to be really difficult for me construction Travis is literally cutting stuff I think I'm definitely gonna keep this little outfit let me see you probably can't really see it very well but I got this so long ago but it's just like so comfortable and I'm all about being comfortable I have two of these exact outfits so definitely want to keep those um, and then let's take you into the bathroom again everything's like a total mess in here but we're, this is like where we're going to keep all the kids clothes. So I kept Storm's clothes in here. It's really lightweight, so I don't have to worry about that, like pulling. And then all Snow's clothes went in here. So that was really nice. And then, um, oh, I love this. It's like a little mindful affirmations cards, and there's a bunch of them, and you can change them out. So this is what our medicine cabinet looks like. And we have so much stuff in here. We don't need all this. We're going to have to go through that. Um, but there's a lot of space in there, which I really like. And then we have a lot of space up here, uh, which is awesome. This is like that anti-choking device thing. I, I feel like everybody that has kids should have that. Or, and adults. They make one for adults, too. Um, we got so our first aid kit back here. Like gloves, stuff like that. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of room. And then we even have space here, which I'm, I'm going to be doing my reusable toilet paper. This is RV toilet paper um, that we've just had for a long time. So we'll use that up and then we'll, we'll do our other ones. Or maybe we'll keep some RV toilet paper for, for some reason we can't do laundry or something. And then we have all this space down here. So we do have quite a bit of space. The only thing we don't have, which is going to be difficult... Is a washer and dryer so I have this little portable one this is the bidet also that we're gonna be putting on the toilet because right now this is the toilet it came with and we're gonna take that off and put our own not toilet sorry toilet like lid does that make sense you know what I mean um, and then this is our little portable washer and dryer well it's not a dryer it's a spin dryer and then you hang dry stuff so that's what we have to wash clothes and then I also have another method that I'm gonna be doing um, so I'll have like two different options of washing things because we are going to attempt to do a cloth diapers in the <laughs> RV. So this was a poopy cloth diaper and I'm figuring out how to do all of that in here. Um, I wish this was a little bit longer because I sprayed it into the toilet, um, like, you know, spray the poop off into the toilet and it's, it's just kind of a little bit short. So 
I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far it's like very exciting. We're in very good moods and high spirits, right, honey? Mm -hmm. And if you've been watching us for a while, you know, Travis and I have had like some marriage, what would you call it? Like issues or like, I don't know. We've just been like going through a lot in our marriage. And I think that taking this like adventure is like, it just puts us both in such happy, positive spaces where I feel like we thrive and I'm very excited. She's kind of quiet. Hold on, let me check on her. Snow? Hey, what you doing? He's fine. He's still, he's still crying, but I can go get him. Anyway, I just feel like we thrive when we're in our RV and we're so happy and I don't know, we just like get along so much better and we're so much happier together as like husband and wife. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for that because our lifestyle is so much different when we're in the RV. But um, So I'm very excited about this adventure and I hope that you guys are too because we are so excited to share these travels with you and like living tiny, especially coming from like literally the biggest house we've ever lived in. As you can see, this is just like the side of our yard is like <laughs> this like massive pool and then we have like a huge garden and a sport court and like, you know, it's our own little like wonderland back there so going from a huge house how many square feet is our house babe uh it's like a little over 2800 square feet so almost a 3000 square foot house that's big you know and then how many square feet do you think the rv is like if you were to guesstimate um i don't like 300 300 square feet yeah so yeah, so maybe like 350 square feet going from 3,000, you know, it's like a big difference, but it's exciting. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I need to go get Storm because he is upstairs and he just woke up from his nap, but I just wanted to give you guys this quick little video to show you around the RV, give you a little update, and yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Keep moving on and let go. Add color into yourself. Now life's like a movie, camera pose. One time for the girl, Shannon Rose.